Now, the African Development Bank is spearheading efforts to provide agricultural innovation for African farmers and opportunities for investment and looking into obstacles that stand in their way. The Continental Bank is also promoting intra-Africa trade. And joining me live via Skype from Indianapolis, Indiana, is Dr. Akinwomi Adesina, the president of the African Development Bank. Uh, Akinwomi Adesina, welcome again to Africa 54. And let's start off quickly by looking at how intra-Africa trade is doing in terms of investment from your organization's perspective. Well, I think that there's no doubt that Africa has been trading quite a lot outside of the continent. But as it does that, especially trades in uh, you know, uh, raw materials and commodities, it's not good for Africa. So Africa doesn't account for more than 2% of global trade. And so we've been pushing quite hard for Africa to trade a lot in itself. I think the continental free trade area, which was announced, is going to be, you know, you're looking at combined GDP of $3.4 trillion. That will make that continental free trade area in Africa the largest in the world. And so, but to take advantage of that, we need to do a number of things. And so the African Development Bank is investing um, heavily in infrastructure just to get access to power so you can have industries that are actually able to process and add value to things. We're investing in transnational highways to link you know, landlord countries to coastal countries. We are investing in ports, in rail, and all the critical things that are necessary for infrastructure. Look, infrastructure is continued to be a challenge for Africa. Uh, the gap, you know, that Africa has for infrastructure is anything between $68 billion to $108 billion a year. And so our role as Africa's continental bank is to continue to attract a lot of investment from the private sector to close that infrastructure gap. And I think we are succeeding quite well. Uh, Dr. Adesina, one of the questions that is raised, you know, time and again is about investor confidence. When you look at Africa, most of the times the policies are set in place, but sometimes they are changed depending on who comes to power in Africa. How do we guard against that kind of change? You know, anybody coming into political leadership decides, OK, this is not working and I'm going to do away with it. Well, you know, Africa is not one country. Africa is made up of 54 countries. I must say that if you look at the uh, you know, uh, doing business global report that's published by the uh, World Bank, you'll find that Africa just, you know, over a year ago accounted for over 30 percent of all the business and regulatory investments done global. You know, if you look at foreign direct investment, in 2010 in Africa, it was no more than $10 billion. By last year, it was $60 billion. Six out of the 10 fastest growing economies in the world are in Africa. And so the, the, the narrative is Africa is actually working. Now, you know, just like you would go to Europe, you go to the United States, you go to everywhere, you find kings when you're making transactions. That, of course, in other places as well. It's not unique to Africa. African markets are not as risky as people think. You know, I think the perception of risk is excessively high when it comes to Africa. You know, you were just talking a moment ago about China investing $60 billion in Africa. You know, why is India uh, investing massively in Africa? South Korea investing massively in Africa. They are seeing a market that is so huge, you cannot ignore the African market. You are seeing a rapidly rising population, middle class rising, and you are seeing a pop, you know, a market where business to business transaction, we reach $3.5 trillion by you know, uh, 2030, and consumer expenditures will be over $2.5 trillion. So the key is, we are working to make sure, obviously, that investors can come to the continent and also have their capital work for them here. That's why the African Development Bank launched what's called the Africa Investment Forum, mm -hmm. which is holding from 7 to the 9th of November in Johannesburg, South Africa. We are building the world, we're bringing the world's capital markets to Africa to invest with bankable projects. We are going to de-risk those projects to make sure that we re you reduce market risk, financial risk, political risk that faces investors, and most importantly, to have a conversation with African heads of state right. about for that improve the policy, business, and investment, and regulatory environment. Doctor, We're doing everything we can right. to make sure investors can land their investments in Africa in a very smooth way. Dr. Desina, thank you very much. Time is really not on our side today, but that's Dr. Akinwumi Adesina, the president of the African Development Bank, talking to us via Skype from Indianapolis.